Hey, good morning. This is Chuck Engler, Spring Piston Rifle Fever and Lomo Strike Training. Today I'm holding the HW80 Air Rifle. This is 22 caliber. And there was some uh, discussion in the comments that I was going over this morning. And some fellow, I think they're from Sweden, said there was some confusion going on because they were selling uh, Beeman Air Rifles over in Sweden and people thought that the Beeman R9 and the Beeman R7 were in the same category, but they're not. Uh, for some reason, Air Venturi decided to sell a name, a good classic name, um, under budget Chinese rifles that don't match the quality of these German rifles. These are Viroc German quality rifles. So this one is the HW80. You can see there, never put molly grease on your joint, otherwise it's going to take your bluing off just like that. So, I'm going to tell you the history of what I know about all this, as best as I know. Apparently there was a fellow named Dr. Robert Beeman. He loved uh, air rifles, and he uh, was friends with the Virox. And he wanted to bring more of a magnum spring piston rifle to the American market that would appeal to the Americans. And the problem at the time was that the most powerful rifle that they had at the time, the Virox, was the HW35, which was like a 10 and a half foot pound spring piston rifle. So Dr. Robert Beeman got involved with them and brought in some of his engineers and they designed the Beeman R1. So, um, they made a deal between each other that the Beeman R1 would only be sold in American markets and then the uh, Viroc could sell the HW80 everywhere else in the world. So that was over in Germany. So this rifle was sold everywhere else in the world. The R1 was sold in the United States. And at some point in time they decided to do away with the R1. Um, I believe that was probably after the passing of Dr. Robert Beeman and Air Venturi took over the business and that apparently that was happened happened when Air Venturi had the business and I'll hold it this way so you can see this side from the cheek riser so so Air Venturi had the business and they decided to hold on to the Beeman R9 which eventually was designed and the um, the Beeman R7 which are the uh, HW95 Luxus and the HW30S. So uh, they decided to hang on to those rifles and sell them. And the problem came along when they decided to have other rifles made cheaper over in China, not made the same way as these Viroc rifles. Uh, and now there's confusion over that. So if you're buying a beam and air rifle, it may not be um, it's not it's not a German rifle unless it says um, the R9, R1, or R7. So that's about all I can tell you about that. So basically the HW80 minus the latch lever is the, like a big oversized HW35. So the HW35 has the same size compression chamber, um, same design on the uh, compression tube where you unscrew it down back here. The only difference is they have a latch lock up here. So I hope that I cleared some of the confusion. Um, I wish Air Venturi would have not um, did that. And that's that's a problem with distributors. They sell under some high name and they make junk sort of like Ruger. Um, Ruger the Ruger airlines or air rifles are all Chinese air rifles. They're they're not made they're not American made rifles. They're they're Chinese imports. And if you get a good one, good for you. Um, only problem with the budget rifles is many times you're not getting the best barrel. Um, there's a few things that are very important to having a good air rifle is a very good barrel, um, very good trigger compression tube, balance, weight, 
power, all that stuff matters. So you like the video, give me a like. God bless every one of you. You have a great day.